course three, lesson 89, we are solving two un solving problems with two unknowns by graphing. So this is called a system of equations, where when we graph two lines and where they intersect, that is our answer, that is our solution. So the solution to a system of equations is where two lines intersect because both equations have common variables. Oftentimes these are x and y, like our graph on a plane. <clears throat> so let's think about this riddle. Theo is thinking of two numbers. The sum is 6, and one number is 10 more than the other number. What are the two numbers? Well, if we have our variables x and y, we can create two equations. And our equations are going to be these. x plus y, so the sum of our two numbers, x plus y, equaling 6. The sum is 6. And one number is 10 more than the other number. So if y is 10 more than the other number, our equation y equals x plus 10. Well, these are two different forms of equations. This one here, our first one, x plus y equals 6, is in standard form, where this one here is in slope-intercept form. And we have two different methods of going about these. The first one, x plus, y equal, x plus y equals 6, we have a box that we can create that is our xy table, where we put 0 is x, 0 is y independently. So if we plug in x as 0, we would say 0 plus y is equal to 6. We just replaced x with 0. So we see that well, that doesn't mean anything because it's just 0. We're adding nothing, so y is just 6. And if I place x plus 0, replacing y with 0, equaling 6, well, that just means that x is 6. So we can plot those on our coordinate plane, and I'll show you that in just a second. And then we go over to our other one, y equals x plus 10. Well, this is in slope-intercept form, meaning we have y equals m x plus b. Well, that means that 10 is b, and whatever is attached to our x is m. And in this case, I don't see anything attached, so I assume that we have a 1x, meaning that m, our slope, is 1, and our y-intercept is 10 meaning that I can plot my y-intercept of 10 and then use my slope to rise 1 and run 1. This is what it's going to look like. So you can see that our first equation, x plus y equals 6, we have 0 comma 6, our first intercept, and 6 comma 0, our second in intercept, and we have our line through both of those. And we have our second line, we have a y-intercept of 10. And we can use our slope. 1, a slope of 1, is just a rise of 1 and a run of 1. So we rise 1, run 1. Rise 1, run 1. Or we could say both of these are negative, right? A negative divided by negative is a positive. So I could go down 1 and left 1. Down 1, left 1. Down 1, left 1. All the way along to get this line right here. The solution to a system of equations is where they intersect. So we can see that they intersect at this point here. And if we look, we're 2 over to the left on the y, so negative 2, and up 8. Meaning that negative 2, 8 are the two numbers that Theo is thinking about. And we can check this by plugging them into our equations to say, well, x is negative 2 plus 8 is equal to 6. Is that true? And yes, it is. We can do it again over here. We need to check both. We can say all right, our y8 is negative 2 plus 10. Is that true? Yes, it is. So this truly is the answer to our system of equations, negative 2 comma 8. Let's try a different one. Joe is thinking of two numbers. Their sum is 12. The greater number is double the lesser number. What are the two numbers? graph the system of equations. Well, let's think about these equations, and we can say that if the sum is 12, we have x plus y is equal to 12. And if the greater number is double the lesser number, 
then we would say y is the greater number, which is 2 times x. Well, we have our two equations in that we can graph. <clears throat> with the first one, x plus y equals 12, I'll do it over here with a little table. If we plug in our x as 0 and our y as 0, we will get that if x is 0, we have 0 plus y equals 12, so y is 12. And if y is 0, then x is 12. So we would plot that on a coordinate grid. For y equals 2x, this is in slope-intercept form. So we can say that if we have 2 times x, we're not adding anything, so our intercept is actually 0. But our m is 2, meaning we have a slope of 2 over 1, a rise of 2, a run of 1. And so when we graph it, it's going to look like this. Okay, so we have, <coughs> excuse me, our first graph having intercepts at, at 12 and at 12 with our line going through just like we did on our last one. And we have our second one where we start at our intercept of 0 and we go up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. And we see that we have this line right here and they intersect at 4 comma 8. When we plug them both into our equations, 4 plus 8 equals 12, that works. And if we have um, y is 8, does that equal 2 times 4? It sure does. So our answer to the system of equations is 2 comma 8. Okay. Predict the answer to the system and then graph them. Okay. So, we have x plus y equals 6 and y equals x. So, we have our two equations. Sorry about that. I want to hide this, but also give us some room to work. There we go. That'll work. So, <clears throat> if we have x plus y equals 6, then we need to, need to create a table, an xy table with 0 and 0. You notice that whenever I have the standard form, when both, both variables are on that left side, I go to my y and x intercept chart. Okay, this is like what we did on a, a previous video. So, if I plug in x as 0 plus y equals 6, then y is 6. And if I plug in x plus 0 equals 6, then x is 6. So when I go over to my graph, and we'll graph it over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay, let me just erase this so it's nice and neat, okay, so when we go to graph our y-intercept and x-intercept, we will say, all right, x is 0, y is 6, so x doesn't move left or right, but it does go up 6. And 6 comma 0, we go over 6 to the right, but don't go up any. So I have my first line. Okay, and then I look at my second, y equals x. So this follows the pattern of y equals mx plus b. And the question is, do we have a y-intercept? Well, we do. We have plus 0, so my y-intercept is 0. My m is whatever is attached to the x, which is a 1. So my slope is 1. Okay, so if my y-intercept is 0 and my slope is 1, I'm going to say up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. And we have our line here. Okay, and we look and we see where does this intersect? And it looks like it intersects right here, which is over 3 and up 3. Okay, over 3 and up 3. So my intercept is or my intersection is 3 comma 3 and the question is does that work it does 3 plus 3 equals 6 and 3 equals 3 so we can see a better version of this instead of my little drawing we can see that we have our intersect at 3 comma 3 okay all right so last one, y equals x minus 6 and x plus y equals 0. Okay, 
give yourself some time to do this and see that this one is in slope intercept form with a slope of 1 and a y intercept of negative 6. And this one here is in our standard form, so we are going to make a chart x and y, 0 and 0. And we see if x is 0, y is 0. If y is 0, then x is 0. So it looks like we just have a point at the origin. Well, what are we going to do then? If we just have a point at the origin, that's not going to tell us where our line is, so we better make another point. What if we say we're going to make another chart? Let's plug in if x is 3. If x is 3, 3 plus y equals 0. Well, the only way for this to work out is if we had 3 plus a negative 3. It's opposite. Let's do another. How about x is negative 1? Well, if x is negative 1 plus y, the only way to make it equal 0 is y is 1. So you can make your graph that way. And when you do, when you do, you will see this. Because on our first one, our slope intercept form, the y-intercept is negative 1, and then we go up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. Okay. Sorry, I had my dot off a little bit. There we go. And then for my other one, I start at the origin, and then I say, all right, my x was negative 1, my y was 1. My x was negative 3, my y was 3. <coughs> and we could go up um, to this left side as well. But we have my two lines that intersect at 3 comma negative 3. All right. So there's a lot of different options here to do your work. But look at what the equation is giving you. See what form it's in. And if it's in standard form like this, go with your table. If it's in y-intercept form, slope-intercept form, then find your slope, find your y-intercept. Okay? Let me do another example, just a completely new one. Okay? Last example. What if we had y equals 2x plus 3? And what if we had x plus 2y is equal to 6? Okay, we're going to graph these two, but first we need some points. Okay, let's do the first one. y equals 2x plus 3. Well, that means it's in slope-intercept form, so my slope is 2, or we could say is 2 over 1, and my y-intercept is positive 3. We, well, we are always start with my y-intercept, okay, positive 3, and then I'm going to go up 1 over, or sorry, not up 1 over 1, because that would be just a slope of 1. I'm going to go up 2 over 1. So up 2 over 1. Up 2 over 1. Or I could go the complete opposite, down 2, left 1. So down 2, left 1. Down 2, left 1. All right, and I will have a line like this. Okay. And then I look at my other one, x plus 2y equals 6. All right, so I'm going to do that now down here. We do our x, y table. I plug in 0 and 0, and I say, all right, if x is 0 plus 2y equals 6, then y has to equal 3. And if y is 0, so x plus 2 times 0 equals 6, well, that 2 times 0 is going to go away, so x equals 6. So that means that my y-intercept, or my y-intercept is 0, 3, and my x-intercept is 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, comma, 0. So if we put a line through here, these are going to be my two lines, which we can see definitely intersects at 0, comma, 3. And let's see if they work in our equations. If we plug in y is 3, equals 2 times 0 plus 3, that definitely works. And if I do, um, x is, sorry, x is 3 plus 2 times, <coughs> I'm sorry, I messed that up. I was right the first way. 0 plus 2 times 
3 equaling 6, that works. So we can see our two different forms of our equation helping us to find the solution to a system of equations. So I hope this was helpful for your homework and for studying.